Well, just another week in Rust. You see, we weren't always dirt poor. There's our base. Isn't it glorious? Now you're probably wondering, why the hell are you showing us your nice base over Coconut Bee's Twitch feed? Well, I'm glad you asked. Because along with that nice looking base, Team Frog Gang had an epic gun battle the day before against Coconut B. And of course, I wasn't recording it. Yeah, time. that was a different uh, different full kit, by the way. I'm back. Oh, uh, nah, Tommy guy under the chin. Hold an AK, buddy. Golden flash. I found a Tommy buddy. I might be able to take him out. Probably still under win. Yeah, can we say? Oh, oh my damn. god, that guy just pre fired you. I had no idea it was him playing under the name Wu Baba Si Wu Lila. Something like that. He and his teammate Winnie would relentlessly push Frog Gang for crate at train yard. Whoever it is, that Sky, he just sits under a train. That was so ratty. All ratty. Now, as you all know, his calm demeanor kept him at the top of his game the entire time. I throw! I throw! I'm a stupid fucking slut! I suck dick on the street! How you, how you doing there? How you doing? I ain't doing so good. You want me to call you? <laughs> My ditch soon. He's ditching right now. Man, I swear to God, bro. His sheer professionalism and good sportsmanship goes unmatched. <laughs> My God. <laughs> I killed two. I killed one. <laughs> yeah, we go again. We go again. We go again. <laughs> There's three guys just holding the back, not pushing. It's the it's the same guy under the chain. It's Styles. Serious? Yeah, it's the same guy under the chain. I don't think that Styles guys had moved by the way. I think he's still under the chain. Wanna come to me now? Okay. I'm, I don't know where I just I'm dead. In oh room. my lord! Oh, In the water tower fucking room I threw. Oh my god! It's so painful. Is he in there? I don't know how I just died. Yeah, he's in there. This is crazy, man. I guess train yard's the place to be. <laughs> it's like. Grab fast too. And no doubt, Coconut B is a role model to the youth of America. Huh? Man, I swear to God, I'm a fucking. I'm gonna kill someone. In game, man, in game. So things went really, really well for them, and him and his teammate eventually stopped coming around for Crate at Train Yard. And following all this epic gun battle stuff, our team was riding really high. We were bigger than life. And then, it happened. We were offline raided by some super talented players, and like the week before, it was back to square one. And that is pretty much where this story picks up. We moved back into our starter base. Here, I'm on my way to outpost on a very important recycle run. Our tier two workbench hung in the balance. The Jesus horse flies. Oh fuck. Oh my god, I headshot that man. Oh my god, I killed him. Oh god. So after I lost the bag, Prism would get offline and I found myself to be solo. I'd first try and collect some resources alongside the road, but I was quickly rushed by these two roadside Johnnies. I'd fake my retreat and drop them a knowledge apple. After killing the final one, I'd follow his trajectory of retreat to locate their base. Noticing it was a wood door, I let myself right in. And since he was no longer welcome, my puppy showed him the door. Oh. Out you go. At first, the raid didn't seem worth, but I noticed 200 scrap hidden away in the TC. All I really needed was one quick trip to Outpost, and I'd be close to a tier 2 workbench. And this time, I'd make it. Oh I needed a recycler, dude. Ah, oh, shitter! Oh. It was around this time that Bachelor would log in. What kind of shows were you using? And one of the first things that Bachelor mentioned to me was that he saw a giant compound on the hill with running furnaces. He had the bright idea to fly a hot air balloon into the compound, steal the furnaces, and fly out with their scrappy. But some things are easier said than done. She's airworthy. Oh, that's the compound with the furnaces? Yeah. Oh, sure yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I can so, land it in there, Batch. For those of you wondering what's about to happen, allow me to explain in this week's battle plan. First, my teammate and I would locate a hot air balloon. Next, we'd board the hot air balloon and take flight 
With our balloon aloft, we'd allow the winds to sail us directly over the target area. Once drifting close, I'd power off the engine, allowing us to drift silently towards the Earth and into the compound. There, it would be Bachelor's job to rob the furnaces while I fired up the Scrappy. After Bachelor would board the helicopter, we'd fly away in the safety of the cockpit. The plan was all too perfect. All right, here we go. <laughs> the telephone line that might be an issue. We'll see. <laughs> Depends yeah, on what way she goes. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck. That actually might be perfect, Batch. Dude, you're a fucking god. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Alright, steal the shit and go. Dude, I got 420 Luger. I'm so wasted! Alright, I'm switching seats. I'm firing it up. Dude, he's in here. Is he in here still? Go, 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 go. Oh no. We got it. We got it. Hold oh, on, oh. man. Hold oh, on. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, we made it. You're fucking should, I should I crash it? What should I do? <laughs> uh, just drop me up to the base first. After, we really never had any intentions of keeping the scrap helicopter. We didn't really have anywhere safe to keep it outside our base. We lived in our starter base after all. And we definitely didn't want another 63 carat incident like in our last video. So we decided it would be best to crash the helicopter into a wood base, hoping it would burn the walls and ceiling, opening it up for the perfect raid. Alright, I did hit the roof, I hit the roof. Dude, how did you fucking land it like that? Sick of that. After the deed was done, the helicopter owners would come down the hill to investigate. Then, a gun battle ensued. Hit one. Hit again. Hit him again. They gotta be low on meds. running. Hit him again. Hit him again. He's hit, he hit him again. The guy up the cliff is fucked. He's running. Nice. He's dead. Guy up the cliff is all that's left. Yeah, he ran, bro. All of that just happened to him. Wow. Yo, I'm gonna go deep. We might have to break this door in a second. Ooh, I think I have two Molotovs that should be able to break both doors if you bring them. Quickly finish the raid with Molotov cocktail. Up, yep. Ready? I want to make sure you get it done in here. Ready? Go. Hit it. But nothing really great was inside. All right, Once all the go. boys got on, we took the fight to the Bloom Boys There's doorstep. There's one dead outside their compound. You could tell oh, they weren't oh, happy about it. The pistol. There's a naked here. Running. Oh. Got it. I'm pushing up. Anything good? Uh, oh, yeah. There is good loot. On the roof. Dead. Oh, I wish we had the scrap. We have a, a loot. Let's go. Times, These guys are bad, dude. Yeah, they just lost like a bunch of Tommies in a couple of seconds. Look at that scrap. Yeah. Uh, I think it might be them. Maybe? Kind of yeah, like yeah they're coming back to the base with a new Scrappy. <laughs> what? Yeah, let's get another hot air balloon, dude. <laughs> Alright, bro. We're gonna give you a guest code. We eventually would move out of our starter base and begin building something a bit more spacious. I'm gonna get some stuff for mid syringes. Pula, one of our okay. tadpoles in training, would help gather the yeah, farm. Anything you want to put in those boxes. That works great, bro. I just need 200 blood. There's a guy with a chainsaw outside. I'm not exactly sure if the Bloom Boys knew exactly where we lived up until this moment, but we'd end up taking their chainsaw from them, on top of everything else. Is he dead? Yeah, he's down. 
Oh, did the server just give us a fucking chainsaw? <laughs> what the fuck was that? I don't know. It's kinda sus. Oh, we're fucked. We're fucked. Next thing you know, we were getting online raided. Well, we are. I don't think that was enough. I think we're good. And for what? We barely did anything to them. Are they actually? They're coming to our base right now. They're like watching us. This might be something, boys. One's coming in close to the water. One of them's close to the railroad. And like two in between. If anything. Yeah, they're like they're putting up barriers right now. They're gonna start rocketing here soon, I think. Yo, grab everything and bring it into the fucking furnace space. Oh. The guns. Grab, Shane, grab components, upper right, upper right. Remember, we really still were dirt poor, but slowly getting our act together from the offline raid. In an act of defiance, we decided to hide our loot inside our furnace base. Come shit, come, come. I then spawn into our neighboring starter base and trick them into thinking we never transferred the loot. Outside this base Ha, maybe next time, boys. Oh, they're on top of it now. Yeah. You pick wrong, bitches. <laughs> they bought it hook, so line, good. and sinker. So good. Oh, they're hitting the walls. They're hitting the walls. They're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting them to use more. Oh, too bad. Looks like you guys didn't get the loot. <laughs> Sorry, boys. Wrong room. You won't get these comps. Can you make one more step? I'll fucking wall up. You're not as smart as me. So y'all can suck it. What are they doing now? They're breaking RTC. You want to go to two wood? <laughs> they're gonna go through the door. I don't think I see the door. Do oh, too bad, boys. Do you even have it? I don't have shit. Yo, you should go right now to get all the loot out of that other fucking base. Oh my god! You're getting them to waste so much. Can we talk about this? Easy, boys. Easy. I got the loot. I won't do that. I won't do that, dude. I won't do that. What up, dude? Oh, fucking shit on me, dude. I'd like to say that we got away with the loot in the end, but eventually they figured it out. And that's just another week in Rust. You win some, and you lose some. What's up, dude? <laughs> if you like this week's video, don't forget to smash the like button and hit me with a subscription. Also, don't forget to check out the Styles XY official Discord. Sometimes we do some giveaways and post some cool stuff. Anyways, talk to you later, boys.